welcome back everyone today i have another video for uh Don flamingo and now first before i start i don't have the time to reach you this video but the gameplay that you're gonna uh see today i uh, i have the camera in the wrong in the wrong place i am really sorry about that i at least my commentary will tell you like which cars i have in hand but and i don't usually with this flamingo list i don't have too many cars in hand and you get to see the top of my deck for the most part so you kind of have an idea what i have in hand um i'm really sorry i just don't didn't get to um do it correctly but uh the main reason why i wanted to play this deck right this way is because everyone uh every time i make a flamingo deck and i play the jimbe everyone just uh, tells me that they don't want to they they don't have the car they just what are the replacements for the car and i i'm okay I, I understand that and i just wanted to make a video with like you don't need to play the gym to make this deck competitive this deck is very strong right now in the meta and we're very well positioned and you can just replace the uh, the gym with like the pacifista engine for the most part and um uh you just uh that that's good enough to just uh, combat the meta and then you just play the flamingo and you play the mihawk and you play on curve and then at the end of all of that you have your love beams you have your infinite blockers because you do have a lot of blockers and all of them cannot be uh removed by the wipe here so that's really strong at the end of the game uh, especially when you're playing against red decks all of the red decks you just have a problem against these many blockers that cannot be easily removed uh, and you bring them out for like super cheap uh, while also offering some pressure so that's super uh, important for this leader as a, as a whole uh, the kuma does have a place in the format uh, like if you don't I even if you have the jimbis you could consider playing the, the kumas uh, in some amount uh, maybe even playing the kuma without playing the pacifista because i don't really think the pacifista is needed for the deck to function i just think the kuma it being a blocker with some counter power is just good enough like i would just not play the pacifista just play the jimbe in instead of that one and i think that the deck would be just much better but that's if you have the jimbe right if you don't have the jimbe you can just play the pacifista and it would be just as good uh the deck will function just as good and will be just uh as what you want to do with the deck mm. the um these cards are really impressive right now Flamingo into Mihawk will give you a lot of games. Definitely just brings the tempo back into you. And then after that, every time that you proc the leader, once you have this two out, it's just putting the opponent in a super clock uh, that you just have to defend enough to where you can just love, love being your way out of any situation. So it's really good. It's really, uh, I mean, this deck hasn't changed at all. The only problem with the deck, um, and it still will be for like a couple of sets from uh, now into then, is going to be, uh, the a drop if anyone is playing the uh kid a drop uh that's gonna be a problem but at least you do have some like ways to mitigate that with playing miak and flamingo because these cards are like the way to beat the uh the a drop if if you have a way this is the way uh to do it uh ha however the deck performed very very well and i just want uh, to show the uh, some of the gameplays again i'm sorry about the uh the gameplay uh just bear with me for this one video uh i'll just try to keep in mind on the, like i just got out of my head that uh, the position of the camera was incorrect for the whole like the whole session that i did for this leader okay and we're gonna go, go first against this deck um doesn't have anything really so i'm gonna mulligan oh we got the perona it's what we won oh my god <laughs> um interesting uh let's let's draw I think because we're going first, Don Flamingo is going to be really good. So let's draw the Flamingo and play the, the Don Quixote here. Um, so let's do... Uh, I guess this one. Uh, this one. This one, this one, this one. Flamingo is going to be able to pressure his um, his leader very well. Like, he's going to give me the tempo back. You'll see how that's going to be really good. And the Perona, it's really good against them in general. Oh, okay. Play it. Okay, that's a good card to have here. 
Oh, but these are so bad. So I'm gonna place them at the bottom, I think. What's my next turn gonna look like? Maybe I can draw the Perona and then play this at the bottom, I think. That's fine. Perona is still a good play against them, so yeah. Uh, let's do this, 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 this. We can get some value uh, next turn. Just play, uh, get back maybe the Flamingo. And play a Perona, which is gonna be really good against all these one drops. No blocker. I want him to attack with this uh, Nami and, and stuff. So I'm gonna block out of that one. And I'm gonna be able to get this back anyway, so it's fine. I wanna be able to attack his board. So that's what I'm doing this play. Oh, he's gonna attack it. That's fine. Now I'm gonna be able to KO this. Now let's see what he wants to do here. Robin, Robin is fine. Uh, I get to, um, all right, how much energy do I have? One, two, three, four, five, three for this one, one for Corona. Um, so we definitely get to a uh, combo. Let me think. All right, let's do into the Nami here. Use action, play this guy, get the block, the um, Mihawk back. Although the blocker is not a bad card to get back, uh, but it's just fine here. I don't want him to come out of that one. And then let's play this one. Now. This is not terrible, uh, although these Mihawks are... But we can still put them on the bottom and keep getting... No, no, no. We're going to put it on the bottom. Because we're going to draw... Yeah. We're going to play this on succession, so it's not going to be really that good. Uh, bottom. Yeah. Next turn, I'm going to play the Mihawk for sure. And then the turn after that, I'm going to play the... Uh... I mean, not the Mihawk, but the Flamingo and then the Mihawk and... It should be fine. And we're gonna get the tempo of the game that way. Okay, so he's gonna use um, Otama, which I'm okay with. Um, hmm. Well. He attacked my leader. I think I should combo out of that one. Yeah, he attacks that one. No trigger. Drop or turn. Okay, I know what to do here. Attack. If he defends, I bounce it back. If he doesn't, I just get back my Piranha to my hand. Yeah, okay. End uh, the turn. And then I have attackers for these uh, two annoying creatures. But okay, so he has Otama Jet Pistol. Or, well, Gordon Jet Pistol, whatever uh, the case is. Vista Jet Pistol, I guess. Okay, that's very good for me, I think. Uh, let's get the blocker because I have uh, a way to get it back. So it should be just fine. He has to attack for seven to deal me a damage. And I'm okay with that. I'm all about that. Now I'll attack here and get the uh, the Mihawk down. It's gonna be very important for the white beer, which I assume is gonna come down soon. Uh, but we can we have enough blockers now to where uh, we are in a good spot for uh, for that Mihawk for this uh, white beer. Uh, we'll take that one. Yeah, it should be fine. It's not the biggest issue. Ooh, I kind of want to play another one. Ooh, do I? But I want to play something when there is something to, to play. Like this, it's just not really worth it. He has a Robin. Yeah, it's not even worth it to do it that way. 
So let's do this one, um, which is the blocker. Uh, let's do, I want to get a love love beam. I can get a blocker too here. That's very good. So yeah, let's try to get that. Mm, top. Oh, every, all of this is really good. Top, and I'm going to draw, well, put this on the last. All of these block uh, white beer, so that's really good. Um, I think I, I should play this blocker now. And then uh, bait the other one, so yeah. Uh, let's get, we're going to draw one of these two. I think the pacifista is really good to draw right now. If we're going to play the... Uh, Okay, so let's play the boa in that case, yeah. Uh, so we'll do this into this, this, this. Okay, yeah. Use the action, play the boa. Attack with the mihawk. And then let's play uh, this guy. Get back a 2k here. Or a blocker, it could be too. Um, what do you think? Yeah, the blocker is fine. I'm just going to annoy him with, with blockers until um, he runs out of uh, like ways to deal with my board. Because that's the way of the Mihawk. <laughs> you just run them out of uh, resources with the blockers. I mean, not the Mihawk, the Don Flamingo. Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen probably. But I do have the blocker, so I'm, I'm okay with this. Uh, no, definitely not letting him kill that one. And then blocking this one should be fine. Oh, okay. Uh, much better even. Because uh, I get to attack for a lot. Wait, actually, hold on. Because I get to attack with this one now. Let me see. 7, attack for 10, I think. 10, I need 2, and I can attack with her. So maybe 8 is just fine. No, 9. 9 is fine to attack with. Here, use action. Play rested. Over this one, almost clicked on my Mihawk. Then attack for nine. Let's get some cards out of him. Then attack for uh, eight. Let's get a card. Because we know we can defend this. And then that should be enough. So next turn I can win. Oh, he's trying to win this turn now. Um, there's a way. It involves a lot of moving parts, but it's kind of difficult. If he doesn't kill me, he loses. And I know he probably cannot. So we'll see how he manages here. Oh, but he's definitely trying to, to go for a game here. Uh, nope. Using 5Ks is counterproductive here. Uh, nope. Nope. That one kills that one, and I, he can kill the other one, but it's fine. Uh, this turn, I'm just going to attack for 12, and he doesn't have anything to uh, combo me. So, yeah. Uh, that, that was a good jet pistol out of life, but it doesn't matter now. <laughs> Putting disconnected. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I, you don't have too much trouble against uh, um, red. Uh, you do have your Mihawks. Even even Mihawk is good in this matchup sometimes. It depends on how slow the opponent is. But 
this amount of blockers that just the opponent cannot get rid of with uh, easily with the uh, uh, with new gates are just extremely good against that deck. I just know that. That's why I was able to just win that this matchup. Ooh, and we're gonna play against Kaido, and Kaido is a good matchup for us. I'm gonna keep because now I have a passive. This hand is actually kind of perfect. Uh, now the only thing is missing me maybe a Mihawk, but now it's just insane. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna place on top on um, Definitely want to draw the love love And then I want to play the gecko mori I think Some sometime later well, Next turn I'm gonna draw the love love beam next turn. No, I'm gonna draw the teach actually and then I'm gonna do This guy This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I don't want to bounce back the Hannibal, that's for sure. <clears throat> and then here, I do get a free pass here. Play my uh, Kuma. Let him go. Um, actually, we're going to protect the Kuma because I want him to be a surprise when he uses removal. That's going to be really good for us. You'll see. It's going to be better when he uses removal on this car and not on the uh, what I have on board. Um, here, play a car. And attack it and then let's keep doing damage. I don't need to keep up a uh, love love beam this turn. So let's just keep uh, piling up the damage. Yeah, exactly. Just getting cards out of my opponent's hand is going to be very important. Um, we're going to draw a Gecko Moria here. So I think it should be fine to just combo out of that one. Oh, okay. Interesting card to have. Um, but we do have this one here. So we're going to place on top. And ooh, we have a Flamingo coming up for that guy. Uh, so place on top. Uh, we're going to play... Okay. I think back-to-back -back Flamingos are going to be good. Um, here, 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 here. And uh, here, and then we get here, attack for seven, play the card, get the blocker back, it's gonna be really good. Attack for six, try to get cards out of my opponent's hand. That's fine. That's a 2k that he's not gonna be able to combo a 7k for. So we have to just keep the pressure going against Kaido. Uh, yeah, it, bla it dies. I'm not gonna play anything. Uh, I want to play this one because he has to play a 10 drop here. And then, a yes, now we get to play this guy for free. That's how you play around that guy for sure. And then now we know that we don't have anything on top. Um, so maybe we want to get one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, we don't have enough for that. So maybe we just get the uh, Flamingo down. Uh, I'll attack for seven. Attack for six. And get the Flamingo down. Should be enough. Next turn I will get the uh, Flamingo. Flamingo doesn't do anything here, so... It's fine. That guy dies. It did enough. Next turn, I can definitely get my uh, value with the leader. Oh, yeah. I'll take that one. Draw. Now we get the Flamingo going. And then... We know there is nothing on top of our deck. So we're just going to attack for 8. And then attack for uh, 7. He's gonna be running low on those, right? We already made him. Yeah, okay. He 
combos the blocker. He didn't want to do that. Oh, yeah, you got him. Just got to keep replacing my board. It's the best thing I can do. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to combo to that one because he needs a lot of things to be able to win here. Oh, he doesn't minus his energy. That's very good for me. Uh, well, I just... Here it's just a simple math here. Let's attack for nine. See if he wants to combo to that one. And then just do the rest. It's still the uh, a good matchup for Flamingo. Like nothing has changed. Uh, this was not a good matchup for uh, for Kaido before. He's still not a good matchup. Okay, and we have another Flam another Zoro player. I'm gonna keep because I have my uh, Perona, which is my best card. <laughs> and this is not really that amazing, um, but it's it's fine enough. Um, I could get the Perona into my hand, but I think the Pacifista will go a, go a long way in this matchup. So I'm gonna place on top, and I'm gonna try to play this out of the Flamingo next turn, and I'm gonna draw the the pacifista and then we'll rearrange after that so let's do this one this one this one this one this one and then um should be just fine uh the dan is really good uh but we do have uh the play here the nice thing about flamingo and especially going first is that the opponent has to decide whether they want to remove the card that i just uh play or if they want to um, to actually deal with it. Mm. Okay, so this is interesting because I can actually just yeah just leave the Mihawk by the end and try to play the Perona so I can get the value. Next turn I can play Perona and this one. I can draw that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. So top here, here, here. And then uh, here, here. And I can draw my Perona, and that's going to be really good. Let my opponent go. Get Pistol out of life. Those cards are really good. So I would assume he could just play Get Pistol. And the nice thing is that this blocker is going to be able... Like, we can, we can keep these three cards out of our... Um, okay, so he does have to attack it for six. So at that point, I, do, I just let it die. It's fine. It's not the biggest issue. Uh, but if he attacks with the, the Dan, then I have more cards that I can do, right? Okay. No, that's fine. Um, I don't. I haven't seen that guy, so I'm just gonna combo this guy. I was gonna keep it for if I see that guy, but I I, I haven't seen him, so uh, it's kind of really bad if I don't see it. Uh, let's get the blocker out of the way. And let's just play this guy. Okay. I'm going to get cards out of my opponent's hand. Because that's what the uh, Perona is for. Yeah, that's pretty good. You got rid of uh, <laughs> at the Dan. I can really not ask for anything else. Oh, boy. Um, is this good? Well, we have a good uh, life total. And I think it is good because we can just do uh, Mihawk, in, I mean Flamingo into Mihawk. And again, we're trying to play uh, around the um, uh, the nine drop, which is the, the most important card. So it, this is good. And we don't need to use the leader ability here to play anything. So yeah, it's fine. So here, uh, at the end of all of that, I think I want to draw the, the love love. And then, yeah, here, here 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 i'm gonna end my turn and you go he's probably gonna try to get rid of my perona uh, we have already the flamingo play for next turn so it should be just fine uh, and he has to develop oh yeah that's fine he was always dying uh he didn't attach an energy to zoro what does that tell me oh he's trying to, okay vista okay oh okay Interesting. So he attacks it for six and six. Six and five. Is that okay? 
Sure. Sure, that's fine. Uh, we'll play this one here. Draw a turn. And then we'll attack the... Uh, I think the, the Sonicon is more important to attack here. I'm definitely playing to remove the Pista. Because uh, that's the card that is going to offer him more value. And we are still at 5 life, so we can take a couple of hits now from uh, this point onwards. And we can remove his board efficiently. And also next turn I'm going to play the Mihawk. So these cards are going to get a lot of value after that. And he has to play a 9-drop to uh, be able to compete here. I wonder what he's going to do. He has to deal some damage here. Uh, but we have the blockers too. That's really good for us. And then we're finally going to try to get some uh, value out of my cards here. But I know the uh, the Mihawk and the um, and the Flamingo are going to be really good here. Okay, so he plays Brook because he needs to start doing some damage. I thought he might wanted to attack with Otama. Oh... Uh, Maybe that's not the case. He maybe has a sorrow too. That's not unreasonable. I'll take that one. I was gonna already gonna take it. He okay, so he's just trying to do two damage. I'm okay with this. Uh, draw here. Uh, attack here. Attack the leader. And then play the Mihawk. Remove. I think the Sonic Kun is the best attacker here. And then we don't have to worry about his board. Because if he wants to spend energy attacking with these cards, I am very okay with that. Like, instead of playing a 9-drop, I'm going to just ignore this board, and I'm just going to attack the leader. If he doesn't play a 9-drop, then I'm just... that's definitely what's going to happen. Because I can out-combo all of this if he attacks for 5, 5, 7 maybe. That's pretty pretty okay for me to out-combo. Uh, but it's going to be hard to out-combo like a... Um, like the white beer is the one that is uh, hard to come on. I'm gonna draw a love love bean, remember. Yeah, this is completely fine. Oh, wait, no, he's attacking there. <laughs> the incorrect one for me. Uh, no, I do have to defend that one because if he wants to spend his all his energy trying to remove it, I'm okay with that too. That's not the biggest problem for me. Oh, okay. Save it. Um, so let's try not to play into Jet Pistol. Oh, well, I guess there's no way for me to just not play into it. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Uh, let's play the Mihawk. Let's l draw a Love Love Beam into a Love Love. Do I have enough? Two, four. Yes, I do. Uh, so top. Hmm, but I'm going to draw. No, I'm not going to draw that one. Oh, yes, I am going to draw it. Hmm. I guess it's fine. Um, oh, because, yeah, because I'm going to have a Mihawk at the end of all of this, I think. Yes, okay. So this, this, uh, I want to draw the, uh, the love, love. So this, this, this. Play that one for seven. You can attack with all these winning cards that I don't care about. 
because he has to spend a lot of energy to attack with this. Although I have a low hand size, so it's, I mean, it is not like a terrible thing to do. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's completely fine for me. Exactly, yeah. I don't care about your board. It doesn't do anything. And I think he's trying to play the white beer. Uh, but Whitebeard is too slow right now. Like, there is nothing that he can do with Whitebeard that is going to actually, like, generate some value here. And I have, again, a good defense here with the Love Love Beams. Because that is what my leader offers. He does Otama. He's trying to get rid of the Mihawk. Okay. I would think you wanted to get rid of the uh, Don Flamingo. Maybe, but Mihawk? When I have a blocker? You have more uh, minusing effects? Yeah, that's no. I mean, that's not the correct way to do it. <laughs> Definitely not respecting the two energy up. Attacking for 5k would have been, like, base number would, would have been way better for him. Because I have to still use my Lola Bean, and he can develop more attacks here. So definitely a slight mi misplay on my opponent's end. Yeah, now he's doing it correctly, uh, but I'm definitely not going to let him. <laughs> uh, if, I, if I can prevent that from happening. And I do have to keep this one alive, because I want to cycle the... Uh, the two Mihawks out of the top of my deck. Th those cards are not going to do much right now. Uh, no, uh, yeah. I do have to keep them alive just because of that reason. But here I will attack with this one. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll play one of them. <laughs> No reason not to, but I, I think I think I just win this turn. Um, there's just no way that I can not just win this turn. And yeah, it doesn't have anything here to uh, stop me from winning. Even if that was uh, like a Red Hawk or something out of life, like, it's just no way. Nine, nine, and that should be enough. Uh, yeah, if he didn't play a white, but even if he did, like it didn't really matter. Uh, I was, I had control of that game uh, from like three, four turns ago. Uh, I keep drawing like a lot of Mihawks and <laughs> and a lot of uh, Don Flamingos uh, versus Zoro, which is not ideal, uh, but can still function, um, which is fine, right? You want to draw like your Boas, your Gecko Morias, which are like two for ones always. And then at the top, at top of all of that, maybe you do want to drop like one Mihawk. But, you know. Okay, and we're going to play against Duffy, I mean against Garp. Uh, we have turn one Perona, so <laughs> we're, we're chilling. Although this hand is horrible. Is this actually... Yeah, it's just a bottom everything. <clears throat> yeah, bottom... Well, <laughs> great star. <laughs> Perona did nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's fine. Um, we have another Perona, so should be able to catch us back up. Um, however, we're going to try to hit, since we bottom deck so many cards that like didn't use the little ability. So we're actually likely to maybe get something for free. We didn't. Uh, but it's nice to see the Mihawk. Um, this card is harder for them to remove. Than it would have been for the flamingo because the flamingo they can just use energy to remove it. Uh, here, uh, this one is going to be much harder to do so. And um, we're going to start playing cards for free with the um, the second perona here. So, for what it's worth, uh, which should be fine here. Mm, my opponent's play. Oh, he doesn't have anything. That's pretty good for me. 
Another piranha. Okay, that's that's good. <clears throat> that Zoro is a little bit scary. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do the piranha now. See if we can get something. Uh, this blocker is actually very decent here. Uh, and we're gonna place on top. And here we're gonna try to draw the love loves at the end of all of this. And then uh, we want to do this guy into this guy here, this way. And then attack, use the ability, play this one. Now this one, it's it's really nice into my what my opponent wants to do. Uh, I don't have anything here to just um, like use this ability on. But at least my opponent is going to be hesitant to uh, actually like remove it. Because I can get something uh, for free. So let's see what he does. He is representing an uh, impact wave. Attacking for seven. Okay. Interesting. Well, he's not going to attack this one as I, as I was expecting. So I'll take this one. No problem. Ooh, that's a good draw. Oh, that's a good draw. I'll take it. That's pretty good because now I can punish the fact that he didn't develop anything. Oh, he had that one anyway. I don't have uh, the target. Draw for turn. I wanted to play the boa. But I mean, I kind of have to just play back to back um, Mihawk and... Um, I mean, uh, Don Quixote plus Mihawk, right? Force him to remove my cards. And we have two Love Love Beams, so I'll, at the end of all of this, I'm going to be well protected for any kind of uh, like plays that my opponent is going to do. So even if he attach a bunch of, a bunch of energy and attacks for big numbers, uh, I am going to be uh, okay at the end of all of this. And he does kind of want to do that, uh, just to take one more life and KO my Don Flamingo. But now, he, since he doesn't have a board, attaching energy and trying to do removal is going to be really hard for him. He he's might still be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. Hasakatsuki will do it. And I do have to combo to that one. But now, the as I was saying, the Mihawk is going to be really good against that car. And yeah, we're going to combo to that one. And then Mihawk now will answer that one. And then keep attacking my opponent and keep putting the pressure on. And now is when the Flamingo is going to get more value. Um, now let's see if he has a way to remove my Mihawk. There are ways, definitely, that he can do that. Uh, but I feel like he wants to play the uh, the 9-drop here. Uh, if no, I'm de delaying the 9-drop one more turn. And that's great for me. Chopper does... Uh, Put a range on my on my plans a little bit. Ah, uh, but he's playing blockers right now, so that's fine. Mm, definitely combo it out of that one. And then draw. Alright, we don't know the top of our deck, so we're gonna try to set it up. That is very good. Uh, I wanna get the get Komoria down. So place on top. And we're probably gonna be using the uh the love love. So let's see. Uh, we get the gecko and we get this at the end of all of this no this well my opponent surrender uh i think i was gonna win that game regardless uh this turn i was gonna um do attack for seven do that one one two three four keep up love love beam and then uh draw for turn and do all the crazy stuff here all right and for the final thoughts on the on the deck um yeah you should this is a really strong deck it doesn't matter uh, how you play it you just have to know how to play the deck it's really complicated at some times and you have to understand how to when to go for leader when to go for board when to have more control uh when is the time to uh to get the leader value or not like there is a lot of uh intricacies to the deck and especially you do le need to learn how to play the deck when you don't have perona uh because that's when the deck is the most complicated for sure um i don't know if i got any game today for uh when i didn't see piranha but um 
or a searcher, but uh, there are games where you definitely like that's the card that you mulligan for, unless your hand is actually like like has a good curve. But that's the card that you mulligan for, and it, and if you don't see it, then you have to um, really think on how you play the, the deck or not. Uh, you could add more of the other one drop, the Don Flamingo. Uh, that's fine. I, you already have these cards like as a fallback plan, just in case you don't see the your Perona. Uh, that that's an, also another way to see the uh, the deck. Because uh, if 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 you don't see the Perona, you still you're doing your you're maybe using the Lira ability first, or maybe you're playing something for uh, like actually playing something from your hand, and then you fall back on your Flamingo and your Mihax as a fallback fallback plan, just in case you don't see those cards early on. Um, and with that being said, thank you all for watching and remember to join the Discord and have a good day.